A week from today, Royal Oak should be buzzing with the city's first big festival of the summer. Rock and Rides runs from June 16th through the 19th, and our Kim DiGiulio has a preview that might entice you to go. Let the summer festivals begin, and we are here in downtown Royal Oak, where they are prepping for next week's big black party. And according to event producers, they say this year's Rock and Rides will not disappoint. Inflatables are a fan favorite. We were having a blast time going on that uh, the opposite obstacle yeah. course. All right, Ed, you got this dude. And that's just a taste of what you'll see here next week as Rock and Rides kicks off in downtown Royal Oak. Inflatables, rides, uh, three stages of music, uh, free arts and crafts. The fun starts on Thursday afternoon with Community Day. And the Community Day is something that Henry Ford is so happy to sponsor where we are able to have young adults and youth and their families, 1,500 in fact, come out and experience a morning of free adventures at Rock and Ride. Rock and roll, man. Yeah. Justin Tout, who teaches at Troy Center for Transitions, says it's amazing how the event gives young adults and children with special needs or life-threatening illnesses a few hours to enjoy the festival before the event gets more crowded. Every year we send it out to our families and we've got students and families and staff that all come out and really enjoy the, enjoy the festival and, and the rides and all the good times and music. Once Community Day wraps up, everyone is welcome to join in on the fun. The block party all takes place between Main Street and Washington in downtown Royal Oak. We're excited about being in downtown Royal Oak. It's just a great place to host a festival. Now, Rock and Ride still does have some space available for their Community Day. So if you know of a local nonprofit that works with young adults who may be interested in some early access to this festival, you can contact John Witz and his team. We posted a number on our website at clickondetroit.com. Reporting in Royal Oak, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.